Hey guys, uh, intro video for STAT 1150 for fall 2016. Um, I want to get you started here, tell you uh, how the classes run and class policies and uh, give you the dates for the on-campus um, sessions where you take your midterm and your final. Uh, everything begins through Blackboard, so go ahead and log on to your um, Shawnee uh, account through my SSU and then go to Blackboard. Never understood why we have to click it twice. And, uh, you know, as, as a faculty, I see probably more than what you see. I see all the courses uh, that I am teaching. But um, let's see. We need stat uh, for fall. Okay. Now, once you get to the web, to, to the Blackboard site, everything that we, uh, that, that uh, the, the content for the course is, is given under content. Imagine that. So if you click content, you'll see that I've already uploaded a couple of things. There are two folders uh, that um, have important information for you. Now, first of all, getting started. Uh, here's a copy of the syllabus. Uh, by the time you see this, there's going to be video number one, and it's going to be the one that you're watching. Um, video number two, how to install R. R is a uh, statistical software package that's free that we use. There are actually going to be four assignments using R throughout the semester. So installing R on your computer is extremely important. And as I'll talk about a little later when I get into the syllabus, uh, uh, my math lab is required. Uh, it's, a, it's one of the easier to use uh, online course management systems that I've used. And, uh, you know, clearly in an online course, we have to have a way to, uh, to share resources and, and, and things. So uh, I chose my math lab. So, guys, there's an indication of how you can get your My Math Lab account. Again, it's required. you got to have it. That's where your assignments are posted. Uh, your ebook is there. And uh, your exams are taken online, too. But they're taken in a proctored environment. Now, there are three ways that you can get started with my math lab, and it's all explained down here under number five. You can go to the bookstore and buy an access code. And again, this information right here will get you started uh, to, to the point to where you enter the access code. Or you can purchase the access code online. That's quite a bit cheaper than going through the bookstore. In fact, I think it's... Uh, uh, somebody told me it's about thirty or forty dollars cheaper, but you got to have a credit card uh, to to pay for it online. Another thing you can do is you can request a temporary access code. Uh, this is good for two weeks, and uh, but ultimately after two weeks you've got to either get the access code online or uh, buy the access code from the bookstore. So it's up to you, but you got to have it. Okay, now. Once you get my math lab set up, and you'll get that set up by going to, uh, if, if, if I type in mymathlab.com and hit enter, uh, it'll change to pearsonmylabandmastering.com, North America. You'll come over here and register now, and you're a student, and follow the instructions that I gave you here in Blackboard. Well, once you get your account set up, you will sign in. And again, you won't see all this because uh, you're not a professor. But uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll work through STAT 1150 Fall 2016. So if I click that, it takes us to our course. Now, I see more than you'll see, again, because uh, I have instructor permission. Uh, where I can go in and set up course tools. But what's, what's going to be important to you when you come here uh, primarily are two things. The assignment tab, and you can see that I already have put up an assignment, assignment number one. There's the due date. Uh, it's 11 p.m. on the 30th of, uh, of uh, August. Uh, you get infinite attempts. You can try these over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, they'll generate new questions for you. Um, so there's no attempt, uh, I'm sorry, there's no limit on attempts. Also, uh, from time to time, you'll want to know about your grade. So if you come to Gradebook, 
it will tell you your overall percentage. Okay? Now, important. My math lab does some wacky things with grade calculations. For example, uh, it would automatically make an exam worth less than a quiz. Uh, the default settings that um, they go on behind the scenes don't align with the way your grade's going to be calculated. So uh, about five or six times a semester, I'll go in and update the grade calculations. I'll send out an email and tell you, well, the grade that you currently see is as close as I can get to your current grade uh, in the class. So, you know, I'll do that. Uh, keep you posted. All right, gang. Um, my math lab, let's, uh, let's take a look at the syllabus, just like we would if we were taking a face-to-face -face class. Some people say, well, I don't need to go to class the first day. All he's going to do is uh, cover the syllabus. Guys, that's just wacky. It's kind of weird. It's very important to know the way your grade's going to be calculated, the expectations of the class. Because you may not want to stay in this class. You may want to take it face-to-face. -face. Uh, so give me an opportunity to tell you how it's going to be uh, conducted. All right? And I will tell you that I've... Uh, been teaching the online section of stats, uh, well, we used to call it Math uh, 1500, uh, but uh, it's the same course, Stat 1150. I've uh, been teaching it now for about two years online, and I've had really, really, really good, uh, uh, a lot of success. So. But still, it doesn't work for all students. Uh, if you're someone that, um, you know, you like to hide and make up excuses and put things off, and, you know, then... The online course probably isn't going to work for you, uh, but if you're someone who's disciplined, you can force yourself to sit down and watch a couple of videos a week, a couple of hours of videos a week, get your assignments turned in on time. Then the flexibility of an online course, I think, is uh, is is awesome. All right, guys, let's go through this very quickly. Um, instructor Doug Darbro, uh, call me Doctor Darbro or Doug. I, I don't have a hang up on either one. I tell you, I do hate being called Mr. Darbro, so uh, Dr. Darbro, Doug, Triple D, D cube, I've been called it all, okay. Um, email, I had a student this summer that uh, she, she kept telling me that, she said, well, I never checked my email, and I would send out notices to the class, and then three weeks later, she would say, well, I didn't get this because I just checked my email. Guys, I hate to be blunt, but I'm going to be blunt. That is dumb. That is just dumb. To take an online course and never check your email. Think it through. I got no way to stay in touch with you. I got no way to get information to you other than Blackboard, My Math Lab, or email. And email's the quickest. So, guys, you got to start checking your email more often if you're going to stay in an online course. Another one of those kind of duh moments is computer access. I had a student about a year ago. It was, it was like week 9 or 10. She said, well, I'm having problems submitting the assignments on time. And I'm like, why? She said, well, I don't have a computer. <laughs> and I don't have internet in my house. Well, you maybe shouldn't be in an online course if that's the case. Guys, clearly you have to have regular access to a reliable computer and reliable internet service. Technology, uh, you're going to need a TI-83 or 84 calculator. Uh, these things, uh, you can purchase uh, the calculators from the bookstore, probably the most expensive place you can purchase one. Um, Staples.com, Walmart, uh, those are probably the cheaper. You can also, um, eBay, I've had some students who have purchased these calculators on eBay with some success. Uh, also, as students who have purchased the calculator on eBay and they're still waiting for it. Um, oh gosh, let me think. Um, I'll tell you another way. So on, on my SSU, they tell me that there's a place you can go on there and sell things, like from student to student. And every time I've been on there, someone has had a TI-83 or 84 calculator for sale and, and, and quite cheaply, too. So, <clears throat> you know, it's something that you may consider as well. But, guys, you got to have the calculator. Uh, I'll just show you real quickly what the calculator looks like. Um, we'll go to the Stat button, and we'll learn to edit data. 
uh, we'll enter data and then we'll learn all these fancy smancy tests and and different things uh, that uh, make statistics much easier than doing the calculations by hand. So guys, you got to have it. Uh, this is the this is the way I teach you uh, the, to the TI-84. And trust me, doing statistics by hand with with the the formulas is much 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 harder than using the calculator. And the calculator will drive you insane sometimes, but <clears throat> still much easier. <coughs> uh, another thing, you're going to need R. I mentioned that before. So here's uh, the instructions on downloading R. Um, and I'll tell you, teach you. It's a, it's a programming language, but it's very, very simple. And uh, I won't ask you to do anything creative. I'll just ask you to replicate what I teach you. Um, so it's not that um, you have to uh, reinvent the wheel or anything. Uh, I'll provide the wheel and the instructions. You just have to kind of follow it. Uh, ADA statement, I'm not going to read that to you, but if this applies to you, get me your list of accommodations, and um, I'll do everything uh, in my power to provide those to you. <clears throat> uh, catalog description, course objective, GEP requirements, I'm not going to read that to you. You can read that. just tells you, uh, uh, or at least provides a formal presentation of, uh, of, of what we do, what you're going to learn. Um, kind of good news, you successfully complete the class. You get to check off the quantitative reasoning component of the GEP courses. All right, textbook. We talked about it a little bit um, uh, earlier. Uh, you're not required to purchase the textbook right here but you are required to have access to the online course management system. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an online course. We have to have an online course management system so we can communicate and uh, uh, share resources along with the use of Blackboard. <clears throat> uh, it's where your ebook is, it's where all your assignments will be, where your exams will be. Uh, when you sign up for the account, you're going to need the course ID. That's your course ID. Guys, get this as soon as possible. If you need help setting up your MyMathLab account, uh, come see me. Uh, I'm in my office three days a week, uh, usually from about 8 o'clock in the morning till 6 p.m. Uh, stop by and see me. I'll be in every Monday and Wednesday. And uh, the other day, either Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday, will depend on uh, my daughter's cheerleading and volleyball schedule. Um, and uh, nothing else, set up a Google Hangout session and we'll, uh, we'll meet that way. So guys, here are the chapters that we cover. Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, going over that, but uh, this is uh, what we do. Uh, tutors, statistics can sometimes be challenging for some students, so uh, you have free tutoring available in the math lab. Take advantage of it, uh, if, uh, if at all possible. Dates for your midterm and final exam, uh, Wednesday, October the 12th from 4 to 7. Uh, room to be announced will be your midterm. Now, let's say you work, and you work Wednesday nights. Well, you need to go ahead and tell, tell your boss, tell your supervisor, tell whoever, that uh, you're going to need to be off from... Uh, for at least an hour, hour and a half, maybe even two hours, Wednesday, October 12th from 4 to 7. Now, this is a window, so it's not going to take three hours to take your exam. You can arrive at 4, but you got to be done by 7. You can arrive at 6.55 if you think you can get the exam done in five minutes, which you can't, so don't even try that. But uh, that's just the window of uh, when, uh, when the exam is. Uh, class policy, you're required to watch about two hours of videos per week. You're expected to turn your assignments in on time. You need to check, you must check your email regularly. It's the only way I have to stay in touch with you. Um, cell phones not permitted during testing. If you miss an exam, documentation is required. Um, and uh, this came up a few, I think two summers ago. I had a student who was taking my online stats class who lived uh, just outside Los Angeles. And, uh, you know, he didn't want to fly in twice a year to 
or twice in the semester to take the exam. So, um, guys, you got to take your exam in a proctored environment. If this applies to you, then you need to um, look for a testing center closer to where you live. And uh, keep in mind that they're going to uh, charge a fee. But uh, you must take your exam in a proctored environment. All right, gang, calculating your final grade, uh, your midterm taken October 12th is 35%. Your final taken December 14th is 35%. You have four assignments on R that are 10% uh, cumulatively. And you have your online assignments through my math lab that are uh, given weekly. That's 20% of your final grade. Assignment <coughs> names and due dates are provided here. So assignment number one is going to be on the class policies and data. And it is due next Tuesday, October 30th at 11 p.m. You are allowed one additional week to submit problems at a 50% penalty. So any problem for next week's assignment that you get submitted by 11 p.m. on August 30th, you get full credit. But anything you do over the next week up till Tuesday, September 6th, which you, is the time you should be working on this assignment, but if you're still back here farting around on this one, you're going to lose a 50% penalty on every problem you submit after 11 p.m. on August the 30th. After September the 6th, one week after this assignment is due, you can no longer submit the assignment for credit. So essentially, I come in on Monday, I put up the videos. Videos are posted uh, Mondays usually by 6 p.m. You have the entire week, weekend, Monday, and Tuesday of the next week to submit your assignment. So by Tuesday, August 30th, I will already have the videos up on picturing variations with graphs. But hey, you got that extra time if you need it. But after the 11th, I'm sorry, after 11 p.m. on August 30th, any problems that you submit on that assignment, you lose 50%. Uh, and the reason I do that is I want you guys staying current because I don't want to be, you know, out here teaching numerical summaries and you still back here farting around with, with types of data. Uh, I want you to stay current on the assignments so, you know, there's a penalty if, if you don't stay current. So, you know, a lot of stuff to learn. Uh, statistics is, uh, is challenging for some people. Some people love it. Uh, it's just, uh, I guess time will tell for you, right? So, uh, guys, here's our, uh, our tentative schedule and some important dates down at the bottom. The uh, last day with to withdraw from a class. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I think this is going to work well for you if you're someone who can maintain a self-imposed schedule. But if you're someone who needs an external schedule, you know, you need somebody keeping you on task, then this is probably not the way you should be taking STAT 1150. Uh, you should probably take it in the classroom where you get the motivation and kind of the pressure from face-to-face -face meetings for your instructor. This process, this way of learning, takes someone who is, is quite disciplined. So, um, all right, so that said, what should you do now? You kind of know everything, how your grade's going to be calculated and stuff like that. So what you should probably do now is go to content. Make sure you have R installed. We've covered the syllabus. You should now know how to get uh, my math lab uh, up and running. So now it's time to focus on the videos for the first week. And you'll see that I have uploaded video number one. To play it, just click it. And it was it's uh, 42 minutes, uh, chapter one topics. And you can see that I've used... Um, uh, PowerPoint, which I usually don't do, but uh, this one I used uh, PowerPoint. So, guys, watch it. First one's 42 minutes. Second one I get into installing R, and I give you an illustration on how to do two by two tables. 
So you can see, let me go out here and show you R. Uh, okay, I go through the whole uh, download process. And then I get out here and I show you how to set up and access files. And then we get into the, um, into the, uh, the data analysis, all right? So guys, it's all there. All you got to do is just be disciplined enough to uh, sit down in a quiet place and watch, um, watch the videos. Well, uh, let me show you a picture of me. Uh, this is me and my family, or my family and me. I'm the big ugly one over here. Uh, these are my daughter Sadie and Bailey, and this is my wife. So if you see me on campus, yell at me and say, hey, Dr. Darbro, Doug, Triple D, D cubed, whatever you call me. I'm in your um, online stats class. Um, I love your class. I hate your class. It's just whatever. All right, gang. Um, I guess, I don't know why I'm on Facebook. I'm actually wanting to go to the grade book, and I've uh, lost my way here. I want to go to Blackboard. Um, I, I guess this, uh, you know, again, uh, that, that's about all I've got for you. Just keep in mind, videos are usually posted on a Monday, Monday by 6 p.m. You've got essentially eight days to watch a couple of hours of videos and get your assignment turned in, submitted on my math lab by the following Tuesday at 11 p.m. By that time, if you wait that long, then I will have already had the videos up for the next week. Um, so, um, give you plenty of time to watch a couple of hours of videos and uh, uh, submit an assignment that will take most of you, you know, somewhere between, uh, you know, well, somewhere around two hours. So, uh, you go spend about four hours in the course, just like you would if it was a face-to-face -face statistics class. Guys, that's all I got for you. Uh, stop by and see me. Say hello. Uh, take care.